Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video. So, last week I did a video where I only used Primark beauty products for 24 hours and I asked you guys in that video if you wanted me to do a Revolution version and loads of you said yes, so I went over to the Revolution website, off I went, and I ordered over a hundred pounds worth of stuff. I've got all sorts here, I've got skincare, I've got makeup, I've got a hair dye, I've got a hair dye. I've even got some bath bombs, I think they're bath bombs. I don't even know what I've got, but I've got all sorts of stuff and I'm very excited to try it. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys a brief overview of everything that I got and then we'll get on with it. So this is everything that I got. I'm pretty sure 90% of it is new. Like Revolution are always bringing out new products. So I'm pretty sure a lot of this is new. This is from their new little makeup range. So this is their new glass shimmer fixing spray. And apparently it's iridescent. I'm so excited to try this. Although right now it doesn't look very iridescent, but I'm guessing later if I give it a shake, it might go all pretty and nice. Look at this packaging. This is from the same range and it's the glass crystal illuminator. So basically a fancy way of saying a highlighter. Got some lashes again, we'll see how much I mess those up. We've got some donut fizzers, nail polish, oh got some pink hair dye, what was I thinking? I honestly don't know how that's gonna go. So yeah, anyway, I think I just need to get on with it. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that I have to test, I've actually already tested, I've already put it on my nails because I did it last night. I'm pretty sure I've tried Revolution's nail polishes before but they were those like pastel-y ones, but I think these are definitely newer. These are their duochrome nail polishes, I really wanted to give one of them a go. So I got this one in the shade fairy tale and I mean I'll give you a little close-up. I'm not gonna lie in the bottle it doesn't look like the nicest thing in the world but once it's on your nails it is actually really pretty like I need to show you it's duochrome so you get two different colors for the price of one. How much was it? I'm guessing the prices are in here. They are not. Okay I finally have the price it was five pounds for the nail polish which I don't think is too bad. So this is what the nail polish looks like. It's basically a really pretty, like pinky, rosy gold color. And then in other lights, it's more of like a true gold color. It's a different nail polish in different lights. It's magic. But also, can we just appreciate how long these nails have got? Like, <laughs> people often ask if I have acrylics or gels or whatever. My nails are my real nails. I just use standard nail polish. These are my real nails. And I feel like they've got really long, so I'm impressed with this. And they're like really sturdy as well. Okay, this is kind of hard to show, but if I face them downwards a little bit, they go that kind of goldy color, which I don't mind, but it's not my favorite color in the world. And then if I tilt them this way, they go the pinky rose gold, which I think looks a lot nicer. Like, I think that is such a cool colour. I'm sorry if you can hear that wind, but you're back. You're back in my bathroom cupboard. Of course you are. You may as well just live there at this point. I'm pretty sure you pop in there in almost every video. But I have some skincare products to try out. I think these are pretty new. They released their mood skincare range. There's basically three different moods. There's thirsty, stressed, and angry. And I was like, mm, I don't think my skin's overly angry. I don't think it's overly stressed. I mean, I haven't asked, <laughs> I haven't asked it, but I don't think it looks angry or stressed. But the one thing that I do sometimes get is dry skin. Like I sometimes get dry patches on my skin every now and again. So I thought the thirsty one would probably be the best mood for my skin to try and help it. So I got the thirsty, give yourself a cloud bursting cleanse, quenching cleansing cream. Wow. That was a long one, but it's basically a cleanser. <laughs> and then to go with it, I got the Thirsty for all of the hydration feels quenching moisture gel. So it's like a gel moisturizer, which I don't think I've ever really tried something like that before. So I'm gonna start with the cleanser. I tell you what, it's in like a really nice glass bottle. Like it's in a really nice glass bottle. I just said that. <laughs> so apparently it contains snail slime. Nice. <laughs> Let's see if Sophie has an allergic reaction, probably to the snail slime. <laughs> I'm allergic to snails. Am I going pink? I knew it. Of course I'm allergic to snails. <laughs> I'm literally getting pinker and pinker by the second. It does feel a little bit stingy. Oh no. <coughs> no. What is wrong with my face? <laughs> can't handle anything I swear. So yeah this is the moisturizer like I said it's got like a little squirty pump which I think is really handy. Let's see what it looks like. Oh 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 I swear 
swear down this is probably the worst that i've ever had like i'm really pink and really blotchy it looks like this it is like a gel consistency it's in like a nice pastel blue color very nice it smells i don't know i'm getting a hint of like cucumber but it smells nice has this one got snails in it as well hope not oh it does more snail slime i wonder what part of it is making me blotchy because it's got a few things in it cannabis oil snail slime and then this one also had green sea caviar <sighs> goodness me fancy anyway i don't know what it is but i'm pink and i'm probably about to get pinker let's give the little moisturizer a go yeah, I think it's safe to say these do not agree with me and I won't be using them again. How much were they? I think the cleansing cream was £8, the moisture gel was £10, so... <laughs> no. <laughs> My poor face. Alex? Yeah? Do you think it's safe to say this skincare doesn't agree with me? <laughs> I'll tell you what it looks like. It looks like you've um, tried to paint yourself like a tomato. <laughs> Right, it's been about an hour. My skin has finally calmed down. Like that was definitely the worst it has ever flared up. It didn't even look that bad on camera, but in real life, it was pretty bad. Um, Obviously that is not gonna happen to everyone. I feel like for most people, their skin will probably be fine with it. But as far as the products go, I feel like they did a good job. They definitely made my skin feel very hydrated. I feel like if you have thirsty skin, it's gonna love that. So I feel like it definitely did what it said, but I'm never gonna be able to use it, am I? Because my face was like, mm -mm, I don't like you. I don't know what ingredient it is, but I just have really sensitive skin to a lot of skincare. This is why I stick to my simple and my soap and glory because they work for me, but I feel like everything else just Mm. so i'm about to go and do my makeup these are all of the makeup products that i have i just want to say how nice is the packaging like when you put it all together there's so much like rose gold and pinky colors i just think their packaging is so nice so yeah i'm gonna take all this take it down to my filming room and we shall do my makeup hopefully the makeup turns out a little bit better than the primark one because oh my goodness that was embarrassing <laughs> anyway i'm now gonna do my makeup the first thing i have is a foundation it was there it is not anymore. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. I didn't see any new foundations and I knew I had this one in my drawer. So I thought I may as well use it. It's the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. I got mine in the shade F6. Mm, I can't remember if this matched me. Do you remember? I have tried this in a video before, but I can't remember. Yeah, I can't even remember what I thought of it. I don't use this one often. A little bit of a mess. I actually think it's really good. I don't know why I don't use it more often. I feel like it matches really well, blended out really nicely. It's left like a nice kind of healthy, glowy kind of finish. So I actually do really like it. Coverage was all right. I'd say like medium-ish. <sighs> So I picked up their newest concealer. I feel like they've got quite a few concealers now, but this is the newest one. It's the Conceal and Define Infinite Longwear Concealer. Apparently it lasts up to 16 hours and I got mine in the shade C2. So I'm just gonna try it. I've always really liked their concealers. So I feel like I will like this one. It feels pretty similar to their other concealers. I don't know what's different about this one. Maybe the fact that it lasts extra long, I don't know. But I really like it. They blend out so easily. They make, they make my under eyes look a lot brighter and they just have really good coverage. So I really like the Revolution concealers. And now I've got another one to add to my collection. I've just realized I don't have a powder. Hmm. So I just remembered they didn't have any new powders either. So I'm just going to be using this one that I have tried before. It's the Light Pink Loose Setting Powder. I have a feeling this is going to be a messy one. Did you see that? Absolute carnage in there. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to carefully take a bit of that. <sighs> But I'm just gonna put it everywhere. Wow, this is the dustiest powder I've ever tried. And I have tried some messy ones. <gasps> it nearly just fell off my knee. Oh, okay, wait, stop. <laughs> She's a wobbly one. Okay, I'm just gonna get a tiny bit more. I'm the biggest mess in the world. <laughs> Okay, so that has definitely powdered down my foundation. I look a little bit less shiny now. Okay, I'm now gonna move on to... Oh, I have like a little face palette thing. So I'm gonna be using this for the rest of my face. It's the Patricia Bright Summer Sunrise Face Palette. So Revolution do a lot of like collabs with people and this is one of them. <gasps> please collab with me. Like if you're watching, please collab with me. I mean, no, that's... I mean, yeah. I'm joking, I'm joking. But anyway, this is the Patricia Bright Summer Sunrise Face Palette. So it's got a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter. So let's get it out. Okay, so it's in like this little 
kind of like tin packaging and then inside we've got the bronzer the blusher and the highlighter so i'm gonna start off with the bronzer oh no have i got one too dark again just gonna get a little bit of that Okay, so that is the bronzer. I really liked it. I feel like it's the perfect kind of bronzy shade, blended out really nicely. I actually think that looks pretty decent for once, so that is good. I'm gonna move on to the blush, which is just like a really nice kind of matte pinky color. Just gonna get a little bit of that. Ooh. So it's definitely very pigmented. You only need the tiniest little bit. And I think I was doing all right on the cheeks. They look all right. Then I went and did it on the end of my nose and whoa, that's quite a lot. I need to tone that down a bit. Um, <laughs> just a little bit red. I look very cold right now. So I'm gonna try and tone that down, but I really like it. Like it's a really nice shade. It blended out really nicely. Okay, I think that looks a little bit better. I do wanna try the highlighter, but I do have another highlighter that I wanna try. So I don't really know what to do. Let me just like swatch this one and see how it looks. So it's basically like, like a champagne-y kind of colored highlighter. I mean, I don't know how well you can see that, but it does look really pretty. It is just like a typical champagne-y highlighter, which is definitely my kind of thing. So I know that I will really like that. I love Revolution highlighters, so. I think it looks like a pretty good one. However, I'm not gonna be trying that today because I have another highlighter to try from their new, what's their new range? Oh, it's their Glass Skin range. I think that's what it's called. What does that even mean? Glass Skin. So this is their Glass Crystal Illuminator. I think mine is in the shade Ultra Shine. There were a few different shades, but I got the lightest one. But look at the packaging. It's that kind of, is it holographic? I get scared to say it, because when I get it wrong, I get told off, but I think that is holographic packaging. So this is what the pack, ow. Oh. So it's like a silvery colored highlighter, but it looks really tech. <gasps> Me, why? What is wrong with you? <laughs> Me. I sometimes get comments saying, oh, you just drop things because you're trying to be funny. I honestly don't. You can't make this stuff up. Like dropping something on purpose would look like this. Ooh. Um, <laughs> but like, surely you could tell that I'm genuinely just like, I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with my fingers. It looks quite like textured and weird. I don't know if you guys can see on the camera. I feel like the lights are probably going to wash it out. I can't explain, but it's really rough. Oh, oh wow. What on earth was that? That is a glow and a half. Like that is very intense. How's it looking from the front? Oh, I feel like they always cast a little bit. Like when they're super intense, they do cast a bit of a funny line when you look from the front, but wow, wow. Okay, I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit because it's maybe a little bit too intense, but I really like it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it, but I do really like it. So the first brow product that I've got is their Bushy Brow Pen. It's in the shade Dark Brown. Yeah, oh, it's a pen, like a felt tip one. I don't know if I'm gonna get along with this. I definitely prefer just like an eyebrow pencil these days. So this is what it looks like. It's just like a little pen. You've got a little brush on the end. I don't know if I'm gonna get on with this, but I'm just gonna give it a try oh okay the first thing I'm noticing is the shade isn't quite the same as my eyebrows it's quite a warm toned brown and it's not quite dark enough as well this was the darkest one they did I'm pretty sure okay I think that is the best I can do with my eyebrows I have a few things to say the first one is I feel like the color actually does match really well I know I said it didn't but it does dry to a cool toned slightly darker brown it's really weird so the color actually does match in the end it's the perfect shade I just don't think it's my kind of thing I think that would be perfect if you only needed to like fill in a few little like stray bits and then I also got a brow gel because the one I normally use has pretty much run out so I thought I may as well try a new one this is the brow fixer in clear I decided to just get a clear one I feel like it's just easier <laughs> less messy so let's give it a go oh it's got a really nice tiny little brush on it brush spoolie what is is going on it's gone red why is it gone red okay i'm gonna keep going and see if it makes the rest of it red <gasps> it's turning red what is going on <laughs> my eyebrow is now red i feel like this is reacting with the brow product from before and it's turning it red i mean i'm gonna have to make the other one red as well aren't i look at that <sighs> 
Okay, well, I'm gonna say don't use these two products together. They clearly don't go together very well. <laughs> Do you know what though? It's actually quite a look, I quite like it. <laughs> that is that, I mean, it did set my brows nicely. It fluffed up the top a bit, which is what I like. I've got red eyebrows for the day now. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. <laughs> so normally when I do these videos, I never get an eyeshadow because I don't use eyeshadow in my everyday life, like ever, I never wear it. But I thought today I would go all out and I got an eyeshadow palette. This is the Revolution Pro New Neutral Luxe Shadow Palette. We are gonna give this a go. I haven't tried eyeshadows in ages like i'm gonna be so out of practice so this is what the packaging looks like it's kind of like a leopard print packaging oh <gasps> wow they look amazing like they are some full-on glittery shades what is this one <gasps> Oh no. Um, there is all sorts going on here. We've got some mattes, we've got some shimmers, we've got some full on like pressed glitters. I'm gonna take a bit of this brownie color in the shade Whisper. And I'm just gonna use that to start me off. And then I'm gonna take a bit of this darker brown in the shade Rumor. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of that in as well. So I think I'm just gonna go for this shimmer up here. It's in the shade Glitzed. It's kind of just like a nudie, champagne-y, shimmery color. I'm just gonna pop that on my lid. This is my eyeshadow done. I feel like you could be so much more creative with this palette, but I'm just playing it safe because I don't really know what I'm doing. It's been too long, but I feel like my eyeshadow looks all right. Something nice and simple. Everything's applied all right. So I'm pretty sure they had quite a few new mascaras. I went for this one. It's the Big Lash XL Volume Mascara. Pff, I bet it has a big fat wand. By the sounds of it, it probably will. Why did I go for one that's called Big Lash? Are you ready? <laughs> That is huge, honestly. <laughs> we are not getting along. Yeah, I cannot use a mascara that big. That, no, it's, it's literally doing nothing because I can't properly like get in there like I would normally. But if you like big, you'll like this. <laughs> I'm gonna try the lashes right at the end. So I'm gonna do my lips next. I've got a lip liner and a lipstick. Again, I'm pretty sure these are both new. This is the Satin Kiss Lip Liner in the shade Chauve. And then I also got the matching lipstick, again, in the shade Chauffeur. I mean, it seems to have lined my lips. I think I've done it right. I'm now gonna try the lipstick. Oh, the packaging is so cute. It's got like a little lip on it in, I'm guessing what the shade is gonna look like. So it's just like a dark kind of brownie nude color. Definitely my sort of shade, so I should like it. Wow, it feels like a really big lipstick. Like, I can't explain it, but look, it's really big. It's taken up most of my lip already. <laughs> Seems to have done the job. It applied quite nicely. Nice shade. In fact, I really like the shade. So yeah, I quite like those. Nice little nice little lip combo there. My lips are done. They're really crusty at the moment, aren't they? Please ignore my crusty ass lips. What's next? <gasps> I need to try the iridescent fixing spray. This is the thing I've been most excited about. So again, this is from their glass skin range. It's the Glass Shimmer Fix Iridescent Fixing Spray. You can see them like floating around, can't you? But I'm thinking, <gasps> oh my goodness. <laughs> You shake it up and it is just beautiful. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm hoping that shows up on camera. I think it is. Look how cool that looks. And I'm going to have an iridescent face. That literally smells like alcohol. I swear that smells like gin. I'll get Alex's reaction to smelling this. I'll vlog it. I bet you he says that smells like gin. He knows his gin. I swear that smells like alcohol. Anyway, I'm going to squirt some gin on my face. Iridescent gin. <gasps> now that is a concept. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? I don't know why I'm asking if you're ready. So <laughs> are you ready? <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I do look a little bit iridescent. Like it's definitely left a load of like shimmeriness kind of on my face, but not in a gross way. That sounds kind of gross, but like in a nice way. I look extra healthy and extra glowy now. I quite like it. I have a very important question for you. I need you to smell this and tell me what you think that smells like. Hello. Really? Gin? Yes, that's exactly what I said. Yeah, it's like gin and tonic, isn't it? Doesn't that smell like gin? Yeah. 
Okay, I may as well just stay on my vlog camera now, but I do have some eyelashes to test out. These are the Wispy Lashes in number seven Fantasy. I think that's what they're called. They look really big. They didn't look like they were this big on the website, but they are some long lashes. So I'm hoping I can make them work. They were three pounds. I think all of their lashes are around three pounds. I haven't been saying the prices for any of the makeup, have I? I'm gonna make sure I put them on screen, but yeah, these were three pounds. So this is what they look like. They're just very long, wispy, very pretty lashes. Like they do look really nice actually. So the glue is clear, which is kind of different. I feel like lash glue is normally white. Just gonna run a little bit of that along the band. I feel like the band is quite thick, so it's quite hard to actually stick it down. I've tried, but I mean, it's not really stuck. <laughs> Okay, what do we think of the lashes? <laughs> oh, you get a nice close-up of my red eyebrows now, don't you? <laughs> I feel like every time I do eyelashes, I trim them and I think to myself, yeah, that's definitely trimmed enough. And then I stick them on and they just look too long. I need to cut them more, don't I? Because they look like they're hanging off too much. But they did kind of stick down in the end. Like that is some good glue. I'll tell you that, that is some good glue. That's my lashes done to the best of my ability. So my final verdict on the makeup is that most of it worked pretty well. I mean, it always does. I've always been a huge fan of Revolution's makeup products. I just think they're really good. They're really affordable. I think the base is definitely my favorite, like the foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush, highlighter. They're all amazing. The eyeshadow palette was really nice. Eyebrows, had a little issue with. The mascara wasn't my favorite. The lashes, I think they're so pretty, but I just suck, like that's just my fault. And then the lip products I really liked as well. So most of it, and the setting spray, loved that as well. So I think I liked most of the makeup. So yeah, as always, I'm just gonna go about my day and then later I'm gonna come back with some more Revolution products to test out. I'm gonna be doing the hair dye later as well. So don't worry, I haven't forgotten about that. Also, I'm not gonna lie, I am gonna just rip these right off. Ooh. <sighs> So it is now a little while later. It is 7.26, 27 to be precise. And I have had my makeup on for a pretty long time now. And I feel like it has lasted so well. Like, do you know what I mean? I feel like it looks like I've just done it. Even the lipstick is still kind of on there. Like that is some long lasting lipstick. So yeah, I feel like the makeup still looks nice. Well, I've still got my red eyebrows, unfortunately. Cannot wait to take them off. But yeah, that is what I need to do next. I need to get my makeup off. And the plan was to take my makeup off with the cleanser from earlier and then moisturize with the moisturizer. But funnily enough, I don't really think I should use those again just because of the reaction I had. So I am gonna have to fail this 24 hour challenge because I'm gonna have to use my normal skincare because I haven't got anything else. Like I don't really know what else I can do. Anyway, I am gonna go and take my makeup off and then I'll be back in a sec. I think I'm gonna do the hair dye next. I just can't wait any longer. I wanna try and get my hair to turn pink. So I bought this. Revolution do hair dyes and I just couldn't resist because you know me, I love a good hair dye. Um, I'm pretty sure these aren't new. I think they've been doing these for quite a while. They're the I Heart Revolution Rainbow Pastes. This is a like wash in, wash out kind of thing. They had a few different hair dyes, but I wanted to go for the one that would wash out immediately because I don't actually want bright pink hair. Well, or do I? So yeah, this is the shade Pink Cloud, which is quite literally the brightest pink I have ever seen. Like it's full on luminous pink. So I'm excited to give it a try. It literally smells exactly like the gray hair dye that I used to use. Like this brings back memories. It has that like conditioner smell. So yeah, apparently you just whack it on, it will color your hair and then you can wash it straight back out. So I'm excited to give it a go. This little tub was five pounds. Does this work on dark hair? It probably doesn't, does it? <laughs> So I've just put a little glove on. I should probably take my white jumper off. That would be a good idea. I've got like a little black top on underneath, so that'll be fine. Okay, that jumper has literally left white fluff all over my top, so just ignore that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna test it on a little strand like this. Oh, that is the brightest pink. This is what it looks like. So as you can see, it's like a really thick consistency. I mean, it's definitely gone a slightly pinky color. I think I'm now just gonna go and rinse that off and see if it actually stays pink or if it all just runs away, runs away, like washes away. Um, Cause I don't know if it's gonna work, honestly. I don't think it will. Like it's not gonna cling to my dark hair, is it? But yeah, I'm gonna go rinse it off and then dry it and come back and we'll see if we have a pinky tinge. Mm. 
I'm sorry guys, it literally didn't do anything. I feel like this is the bit that everyone was probably excited about to see if I ended up with pink hair, but it literally didn't do anything. It didn't cling to it at all. The strand is like somewhere around here. Nothing happened, so probably for the best that I didn't put it all over my head because that would have just been a big messy waste of time. But yeah, I feel like they probably would work on blonde hair or just lighter brown hair. Mm -mm, doesn't work on dark hair. At least you know now, because a lot of you were saying, please can you test the dyes to see if they work on dark hair? But I kind of want pink hair. I'm not gonna lie. It will be a challenge to get this back to blonde because I have a lot of dark brown box dye on my hair, but I kind of want to like, do I do it? Let me know what you think I should do. Do I put my hair through all that bleach? So they do quite a lot of face masks. I'm pretty sure I've tried one before. Yeah, I tried a watermelon one before and I really liked it. They've just released like a donut one. This was after I made the order. Otherwise I would have definitely got the donut one. But I got this one because I thought it sounded... Yeah, this one definitely caught my eye because it's holographic. Oh, I hope I don't get a blotchy face after this. It also contains plastic free glitter, so that's good. Anyway, I'm gonna give this a go. It was six pounds by the way. Because it's that kind of, it's that kind of slippery material. <laughs> okay, it actually looks amazing. It's gonna drip, right. <gasps> So they also do bath bombs. These are the I Heart Revolution donut fizzers. And I just thought they looked really pretty. They've got loads of different bath bombs, but these looked really cute. They're little pastel donuts. And I'm gonna have a bath in a sec and test one of these out. Which color should we go for? I'm kind of tempted to put all of them in. No, that would be stupid. This was eight pounds by the way. So eight pounds for four. Okay, I've decided to go for the pink one, of course. This is what it looks like. It's just a little donut fizzer. It actually smells really quite nice. It smells like one of the Lush bath bombs. I don't know which one, but it reminds me one of the old Lush bath bombs that I used to have. It smells pretty good. I'm gonna go and put it in the bath, but first I think I might take this off because I'm pretty sure it's already dry, so <gasps> it's time to peel it off. Ooh. Okay, are you ready? Hmm, not the most exciting bath bomb. It's definitely a very slow fizzer, but there we go. We've got some little lovely colorful bits. Oh, actually, that's quite cool. Got some colorful bits down there and it's just slowly fizzing. And this one I think is gonna jump in if I don't get it out of here in a minute. <laughs> So we are now in bed, as you can see, and I just wanted to say goodnight because that is the end of the video. I've tested all of the products. Most of them I really liked. I mean, I knew I would. I already know that I really like this brand. It's probably one of my favorite like makeup brands, but we had a few issues along the way, like the eyebrows and stuff like that. But most of them were pretty good. And for the price, I think it's a really good brand. So they overall get a thumbs up. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a big thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you very, very soon. Good night. Good night.